Long live Federal Republic of Biafra. Long live Prime Minister Simon Eba. Long live United Nation. Long live United States of America. Long live the President of America. Long live Netanyahu. Long live Israel government. Long live Finland government. Long live Finland's citizens. Um, the people that I could not mention their names this moment should not be offended with me because my time is winding up. I have but a limited time uh, with this broadcast. So in my subsequent bulletin, you shall hear your name. But I'm wishing all the freedom fighters long live. They shall live long. Longevity and prosperity, dignity with integrity is their portions. All those who are fighting for freedom and those who have fought for freedom and survived, I wish them the best of luck. They are the most wisest people on earth. May I tell you that Americans are very wise. United Nations is very wise. You may scold me. You may not agree with me. Their wisdom have spoken expressively on the case of Mazen Amdekano. Letting you know that they are not against Biafrans and they are not against Mazen Namdekano. But some of you will say, if they are not against Biafrans, why is it that they cannot give order and fight Nigeria government to release Mazen Namdekano? Have me excuse to tell you that Americans are not the one holding Mazen Namdekano in Communicado in the DSS bottomless pit. It is Mazen Namdekano's people, Igbo politicians, Igbo elites, Ohanezes, these are the people who are holding Mazen Namdekano captive in the DSS dungeon. Listen, if Biafran politicians or Igbo politicians, Igbo elites, have gotten up to speak and move, act the way United Nations acted immediately when the case of Mazen Namdekano's kidnap took place. I assure you that Mazen Namdekano will not be there for three weeks. Are you getting what I'm saying? Let wisdom tell you that I'm saying the truth. Somebody that it does not consign from United Nations give an order to release Mazen Namdekano that he didn't commit any offense. I'm heading somewhere at this moment. And his order was working. United States of America gave an order. They did not withdraw their statement. European Union gave an order that this is unconstitutional, that the federal government of Nigeria have violated an international treaty which he was a signatory to, to kidnap an innocent citizen 
of another country from another country to another country is a violation of international treaty. Are you getting it now? And the same Nigeria government, because they feel that they are born to rule, and every other ethnic person in Nigeria is born to serve. They ignore it. They turn blind eyes and pay deaf ear to it. But still, United Nations did not give up. Let me ask you, the people that Mazen Namdekano was fighting for, dying for, willing to save, what was their actions? Or they don't have any responsibility to play. They don't have any rule to play to make sure that the leader of indigenous people of Biafra is out of the cage of Nigeria bondage. Does it mean that Mazen Amdekano doesn't have where he is coming from? He's a Biafran, he's an Igbo man, voluntarily volunteered himself to fight for the cause of the fatherless, the motherless, the orphans, the widows and widowers. But the same people, even when Nigeria government hand was broken down in the Supreme Court and Federal High Court that gave order that Mazen Amdekano should be released and compensated adequately. None of Mazen Amdekano's people were ready to fight for him. Even his lawyers and the senior advocates who were there as his lawyers only collect bribe. They collected a bribe from federal government of Nigeria. And rubbing cream oil on the matter so that it will die down and Mazen Amdekano will die in the DSS custody. You say I'm lying. Where is Ozekeme today? And where is Barise Jofo today? Are you getting what I'm saying? So, you who is blaming everybody and blaming the whole world that they didn't come to fight for the release of Mazen Amdekano. How much did Mazen Amdekano's people fought? Is it not the same Igbo politicians and organizers that pledged the bounty on him? You have not heard it before. Go and Google it. Go and find out. The same people pledged the bounty on him and paid the money. And when Nigeria court discharged and acquitted Mazen Amdekano, Hope Uzodema ran to Malami and Bohari and told them to make sure that they hold Mazen Amdekano down. That if they release him, that election 2023 will not hold. And he, Hope Uzodema, will not continue. Look at it very well. What I'm saying this moment and where I'm heading to this moment 
is that no nation on earth that did not fight for their freedom. United Nation understands or understood what it means to fight for freedom or to be free or to be a freedom fighter because they fought for their independence from United Kingdom. It wasn't easy for them. Many people lost their lives from America. Are you getting it this moment? Finland understood the importance of freedom and freedom fighting. They fought for their freedom until they gained their freedom from Russia when it was USSR. Sweden, Sweden fought for their freedom. These are European countries. If you don't know, know it now. Finland is an European country. Sweden is an European country. They all fought for their freedom. And they got it. Israelite, they fought to many countries. Remember, Pharaoh of Egypt said over his dead body to let Israelite go. And God told him, so be it. And that was why he and his soldiers were overthrown in the Red Sea. Are you getting it today? The journey that's supposed to take the children of Israel 40 days in the wilderness took them 40 years. For them to be liberated from their taxmasters and oppressors. For them to gain their freedom. Look at Mali, Burkina Faso and Niger today. Are very happy. Far better than Nigeria. Because they have reasonable leaders today that understands the meaning of freedom. Freedom from terrorist. Freedom from terrorism. Freedom from wanton killings. Freedom from bribery and corruption. These are men who understand the moment. There is no any amount of money that can buy freedom. Freedom is by fighting. Kingdom is by fighting. You get it. Go and read history. Then, why should Biafran freedom fighting become a sacrilege today in the world? Why should it be called an abomination in the world? Biafrans, I'm talking to you people. Wake up. Nothing good comes easy. You want a good thing, you must pay for it. 
you know, our people said somebody who don't have money should not expect to eat or wear a people's soup. On your name, we here go or get you forward. Mbano, and I am Or a soup in Imo state is very expensive. Highly exorbitant. Until you prepare yourself and prepare cash down. You will be able to enjoy over a people soup. What I'm saying this moment should make sense to somebody somewhere. If all these people I mentioned to you were able to succeed in their own time, they fought many countries and many countries fought them and at the end they conquered those countries and come out a nation today, very bright and clean made history that can never be raised is an unerasable history footprint unerasable footprint history they have created history men with zeal men with impact the impactors, freedom fighters are, are impactors. Freedom fighters, they are impactors. They impacted, impacted positively on their generations. They refused to pass through their generations unnoticed. Listen to me this mo mo moment and learn something from me. If you are a freedom fighter, you don't quit. A freedom fighter does not quit. Genuine freedom fighters does not quit. Because without freedom, life is not complete. And life is all about freedom. Jesus said, in the book of John chapter 10 verse 10 that the thief comes but to steal, to kill and to destroy. But I am come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. Yes. Freedom. Jesus came purposely to free those who are condemned to death. If you are not free, you are a condemned criminal. You are in your country and you are a slave. You are under colony. Colonization is revolving on the head of Biafrans in their own God-given nation, ancestral land. For them to be colonized by Nigeria. Second colonization. And because of greediness, self-complacency, and belligerency, the people it concerns decided to fold their hands and go into their shells. They collect a little money and they sold their own people to the enemies. Let me ask you, how long will you eat that money? Egobara, bloody money. You sold your people. I leave you here. I'll be right back. <laughs>